OK, um, so let's start our uh, lab seven. So in this lab, we will try to use the while loop and also say that what's the difference between using while loop and also using uh, the for loop. So last week, we already tried the for loop. And this week, actually, we are using the same questions. So, so we are going to answer um, the same questions, but we are going to use the while loop in this time. So all right, so let's first go to our local uh, repository. And let's update our repository first. And next, let's say we create a new file. And this will be lab7.py. And as always, let's add a piece of the regional commands. So this is lab7, and we will uh, Try the while loop and 3.1. Okay, so as I did in the previous lab, that I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show the instruction on the right side because uh, we do have some very little bit complicated calculations. So the first one is very simple. So uh, we are going to print a number from 0 to 5, but except 3. So we need to use the while loop and also the if statement. So OK, so and if statement to uh, print the numbers. So let's say first, let's say i equals 0. OK, uh, so let's say we start from the variable that we define that as 0. And we say, well, i is less or equal than 0. And we're going to print i and also i equals i plus 1. OK, so remember that in the while loop, so as long as this condition is true, and we'll execute the block that within the while loop. And also do not forget to, in, to change the situation so that you don't want uh, this situation always to be true. OK, uh, this should be less than 5. All right, so let's write. And so now we have the number from 0 to 5. And also, if you remember that if you put that one into different uh, positions, the output will be different. OK? So if you put the print after um, this calculation, so we'll have actually from 1 to 6. So that is not what we want. OK, so that is a very simple while loop. And however, so we don't want the three number three being printed out. So that's actually is very pretty simple. We just need if I does not equal to three, then we just print I. Otherwise, uh, um, <clears throat> otherwise we will just skip this print uh, statement on the function. And now if we write, so great. So here we have what we want. OK, so um, this is a similar to the for loop, um, but we, we, we need uh, this variable i to help us uh, to make sure that we do have something that change in each iteration of this while loop. OK, uh, so now let's move on to 3.2 so that we want to calculate the factorial, so that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All right, uh, so uh, we can borrow the code that we used here. But instead of 0, so we want 1. OK, and here, so this will give us the number from the 1 to 5. OK, so this will give us the number from 1 to 5. But how can we get to the calculation? So uh, if you remember from our previous labs, so we use another variable we call the result, OK, uh, to store, the, cal to store the, re uh, the result of each of the calculation at each iteration. So uh, if you like, you can pause the video here. And also, you can go back and check your lab 6 and see that how you can, by using a similar and Python code that is that possible for you to calculate 
uh, this question. So, all right. Okay, so here I'm going to show my solution. So here I say I use result equals one. Okay, and instead of print that one, I will say result equals result uh, times i. And finally, outside of this while loop, I will print result. So that should give us the correct answer. Okay, so 120, and that is the right answer. Okay, uh, so I'm going. Let let's just add a break point. So uh, let's go through this while loop one more time. So here, let's see. Uh, we're looking at i, and also we're looking at the result. Okay, so right now we can see i equals one, result equals one. And after the first while loop, okay, uh, sorry, I should hit this step over. So after the first iteration, now i equals two, result still equals one. So this calculation equals two times one. So uh, that means result now become two and i equals three. And now this calculation will be three. Result equals three times two. Uh, so result equals six. And now i equals four. OK, and after this calculation, result equals 24 and i equals five. And this is the last uh, iteration. So result equals 24 times 5. OK, so now we have our final result. And that also reached the end of this while loop. So now we just print out the final result. That is 120. OK. All right, and so now let's uh, stop this debugging and okay. So that's how we uh, uh, did the this question. So that's three point two. So basically, we're using a similar concept, uh, uh, the uh, the code from our previous lab, but instead we're using a for loop. OK, uh, so we are using a while loop. OK, so here might be some issues with this one. So let's uh, close that and rerun it. OK, yeah, that worked. All right, so now let's move on to our next question. So 3.3. So this time, instead of using the multiple, we are using the plus. Uh, so actually, it's basically it's a very similar uh, to 3.2. So here, I will still start from 1 until 5. But the result, I will use 0 as the initial result, because 0 will not influence the calculation of plus. And within each iteration, instead of using time, I will use plus. OK, and so now let's see the result. OK, so which is uh, 14, and that is also correct. OK, so um, yeah, if you remember from lab 6, uh, we did the similar stuff. So I'm not going to show the details. Um, Okay, for the 3.4 and also 3.5, so please feel free to stop the video and also uh, finish those codes um, on your own. And once you're done, and you can resume this video and check my solution. Okay, uh, so here let me provide my solution. So actually 3.3 .3 is similar to 3.2. Two. So I'm going to copy this one. OK, here. And it is still using the time, the multiple, so that result, initial result will be 1. 
But here we are looking for 3 to 8. So I will start from 3 and also until 8. OK. And now let's run it. OK, so if you remember, we have the same result uh, in lecture uh, in lab 6. OK, so that is 3.4. Uh, 3.5 again so you you can use a slightly different approach as long as you are using a while loop so that should be fine uh, you don't need necessarily follow exactly what I did here so for example you can start from 8 and as long as i is great or equal to 3 and you can use this one and also every time i will equals i minus 1 so that also works OK, so for 3.5, uh, so I think I said in the previous lab that so I would uh, simplify this result a little bit. So that actually cost 8. OK, and that is actually equals 8. Times. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. OK, so instead of using two while loop to calculate those results separately, so we can actually simplify this calculation first. So we can simplify this calculation mathematically. So that essentially is calculating 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. Okay, so that make this one uh, pretty easier. So let's copy the code from 3.4. And now you can see what we need to change is just change i from 3 to 4. And now we can use this while loop. And we have this result and which is the right one. Okay, so that is 3.4. Uh, 5. Uh, 3.6 is a is a little bit interesting. So, so we are using the same number of lists, but this time I want you to empty this item. So I want you to remove the item from this list, and with a while loop, so that each iteration you should remove one number. Okay, so each iteration you should just remove one number. OK, so how can you do that? So um, please pause the video here and also try it by yourself first. See if you can think about a way to uh, to remove the item from the list um, by using a while loop. OK, uh, so now let, let me provide my solution. So first, let's define this number list, which equals uh, I just actually I just typed some random numbers. OK. So how can we remove the items that are within a while loop? So first, we know that uh, for the for the list, there is a built in method called remove. So that can remove the item um, within that uh, that list. But we want to remove the items one by one by using a while loop. OK, so how do we know that the 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 so when the when the list is empty, so we won't stop that loop. OK, um, again, you can use your own um, method to answer this question. So here I'm going to provide my uh, solution. So that is well number list. OK, so that means so this is a list. So when this one will become false, so that is when the list become empty. So remember, empty data containers like list, dictionaries, tuples, um, set will be will cons are considered false in Python. So when this list is empty, the while loop will stop. OK, so that's the first one. Secondly, so how can I remove an item? So that let's see dot remove. Okay, 
So now you have to tell uh, Python which item you want to remove. So how can you remove one item one by one? And you can you can make sure that there will be no errors in your while loop. OK, so my solution is that I will remove the first item at each iteration. So that is number list zero. OK, so that no matter uh, which item you want to remove, so at each iteration, I just want to remove the first item. And after that, let me print this number list, which actually is not necessary. So let's just print. And you can see right now we have an empty list. OK, so that is pretty cool. And let's add a breakpoint and enable this debugger. OK, so let's remove all those expressions. So now let's look at this. Uh, how does that work? So OK, so now we have this number list. OK, the first item is 12. Second item is 32. Third item and also the, the last item. So right now, this is a number list and this is the first item. So within this while loop, the, in the first iteration, we are going to remove this one. OK, and let's say we want to check the number list. OK, so now let's write. So now you can see this item has been removed. And now if you look at the net item, now the first item is 33. OK, so we continue. Because right now the number list is not empty, so the while condition is still true. And we're going to remove the current first item, which is 32. So now let's continue. Now we can see 32 has been removed. So right now the number list is just has two items, so 43 and also 35. And if we continue, we can see right now so no matter, so we, we can guarantee that, okay, as long as you have items, you at least have one item. So, so every time we just remove the first item, so right now it is 43, and we continue. So right now, there's only one item that is still the true in the while loop, and we re remove the only one item that is still also the first item, even there's only one item. OK, now you can see this number list is empty. So right now, the, the while loop will stop. So if we continue, we can see we outside this while loop. OK, so now this one is finished. OK, so this is my solution that how I can, I can empty a list uh, by using a while loop so that I can remove one single item at each iteration. OK, so that is lab, uh, lab 7. So hopefully this will give you um, a better sense that how the while loop work in Python. And also you, if you compare this lab with our previous lab, so you can see how the while loop and also for loop can, um, can resolve the same questions, but in slightly different way. All right. Um, so that's all for this lab. So now let's go back to our terminal. So let's upload our um, code to our GitHub repository. So git add dash dash all, git commit dash m. This is lab seven. <coughs> uh, so if you're curious curious about those tools, so that just means that you didn't set the global username and also global uh, email. So which you can ignore that. And let's see, git push. All right, I think that's it. So if we check our um, repository, and you should see that the lab seven is just published. All right, so that's for this lab.